Today I'm going to be talking about using some crawls. This is the hoax fish crawl right here. This one's in green pumpkin. And how it, how it would rig is I have a regular straight um, shank hook and I have it rigged on. You don't really need those really expensive hooks where you need like tungstens, you need stuff like that. I'm just using a straight regular lead hook or lead uh, weight and you don't really need any of that super expensive stuff so that's going to save you a lot of money. You can use tungsten if you want but that's just what I'm using for personal preference today. So how I would fish this bait. See him run with it? Just got a pretty good bite on this thing. Pulled it right off the hook. Um, you can actually tell where the fish bit it. If you guys are wondering what type of line I'm using, I usually range from 10 to 15 pound. If I'm gonna use something like this, like a curl, I'd range between 12 to 15. Um, right here I'm using 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. That's what I would highly recommend on any crawl bait. If you're flipping some really thick cover with this type of bait, maybe even 20 pound would be really great, but personal preference, I like 15 pound. It's not too thick. It's not gonna break on you. Um, it's just really great line in general, especially for some crawls like this. So if you're wondering what kind of places you really need to fish this crawl at, you know, tons of those bass, when the sun comes up, they're gonna get in a lot of that structure. You know, there's trees, other vegetation, there's grass. There's all types of structure that those fish are going to get in. This bait's going to be perfect, especially when this bait's Texas rig like this. It's going to be perfect to flip in by that brush, to flip in by those sticks, to throw in that grass, throw on the edge of the grass. It's going to be a perfect bait to get in between all that structure. There are many ways you can work this bait. It all depends on how those fish are going to be during the day. You know, those fish can be really lethargic. They can be really slow. So you're going to be having to drag that bait on the bottom very, very slow. And then some days are going to be a little bit aggressive where you're going to want to hop that bait kind of fast. You're going to want to hop this bait right off the ground you're going to want to hop it a few times let it sink pump your rod a few more times let it sink they're going to be aggressive they're going to want to eat it like that but then you're going to have those days where you want to throw your bait out there you want to let it sit you want to slowly drag it then there's also going to be those days where those fish are just so slow they're not wanting to chase after anything they're not wanting to be aggressive whatsoever you're going to want to throw that bait out there let it sit on the bottom for a little bit wait maybe five six seconds start to move a little bit more and then wait another five six seconds it all depends on the day, but there's tons of styles away. There's tons of styles to work this bait. If I had to use any rod, I would use either a medium heavy or you can use a heavy power rod. This is a heavy power rod. This is a 7.3 heavy. This is actually an Akuma TCS style rod. On the reel, I have a Helios TCS reel, and this is also by Akuma. And this is a 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reel. That's really the gear ratio I would fade around. With rod, 7.3 heavy. You can also use a medium heavy, but if you're going to flip, and pitch and throw in some really thick cover, I would definitely recommend a heavy, even a extra heavy rod to get those fish out of there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a few tips out of this video. If you did and you want to see some more videos like this, please hit that thumbs, bu thumbs up button. Definitely check out the hoax fish curl. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.